I'm going to show you a way we can make a nice noise sweep in the track just to give it a little build up and movement and crescendo type feel. So what I've got here is just a really simple uh, piano beat that I've been working on. And right at the start, I've got just the classic reversed crash that leads into the beat. As it loops round through the 16, I just want to build it up a little bit more into what I'm going to make the hook. So let's have a quick listen to like just the reverse crash technique real quick. Yeah, so that working with everything that's going on here just helps us get into the track, right? So. Now, when that occurs again to go into the hook, I just want to make it a little bit longer and really have control of like the noise sweep, but still have the crash in there. So we've got that recognizable sound. So let's see how we can do that. The first thing we need is something to generate noise for us. Now in FL Studio, if we press F8, if you've got a plugin that has a noise generator that you like, like you're using Massive or something like that, all of these principles are still going to apply, but I'm going to do it with something that everybody should have. We can grab three OSC. Uh, let's drop that onto a channel. I'll drop it onto this effects one here. Now, it's not overly obvious, but this here, the dice kind of symbol, is representative of noise in terms of uh, FL Studio and most of the defaults. So we want to switch oscillator one onto noise, and we're going to turn the volume for oscillators two and three completely off. The oscillator two level is here, and oscillator three mix is here. Turn both of those right down. So we need to make a new pattern. So we can either tap up here on new pattern or shift and F4 will give us our next new pattern and we can name it sweet. And let's just open up the piano roll and just test that we are getting noise. Perfect. And what we need here is just a single note that's going to trigger uh, over the length that we want to have it covered. So let's do this over four bars. I'm just go back to the playlist now. Now we're going to drop that pattern in just here. Beautiful. I'm going to loop this over. Now I'm going to take the level down of the plugin. And 3OS doesn't have a gain control for oscillator one. So we have to do that with the mixer, which is why we sent it straight into the mixer. And we're just going to gain that back mainly so we can hear what we're doing without blinding ourselves with white noise. So now we'll just have a constant white noise across that four bar section. So what we need to do now is control that so we can make it feel like a performance and it rises up. Okay, so we're going to add two plugins. We are going to add Love Filter and we're going to grab the EQ2 plugin as well. Now on the first instance of Love Filter, we're going to change the SVF, so the state variable filter, to any of the low passes. We're just going to use the Lime low pass, but any low pass on there will work and give you different feels. And we're going to create automation for two parameters, the cutoff and the resonance. We're going to right click, create automation clip, and we see that there. And same again for the resonance. And just on our playlist, I'm just going to drag these tracks upwards like this. So they join into the sweep and they are now nested together and they've always got those automation tracks. On the parametric EQ2, we're going to turn the very first band here to a high pass uh, and change the Q on it and just basically cut that off uh, around 100 hertz or so just so it's not adding any white noise into the low end. So now we're going to automate the two parameters on Love Filter and we're going to have it so there's very little frequency coming through at the start and use a curve so it builds up towards the end. And we're going to go in the opposite direction with the resonant and that should give us something like like this. So not soloed. And that is a really simple way to create a nice white noise sweep and riser. Hope the video was helpful for you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Any questions or any questions? Throw them in the comments below.